Hi, Jeff with Lake Light. Today we're going to be showing you all of the connections required for your 12 volt boat lift system. We have our 12 volt battery, our DC motor cable, we have our battery status indicator, a nice plastic tub to hold our battery, we have a 10 watt solar panel, and our wires. Now we're going to take our boat lift motor power cables and we're going to connect them to the battery. We want to find the black wire and connect it to the negative on the battery. Find the red wire, connect it to the positive on the battery. Now we want to use a wrench to securely tighten the bolts to make sure we have a good connection. Next, we are going to install our battery status wires and our solar panel battery side connection wires on top of our motor connection wires. Simply grab the black wires from each of these and connect them to the negative side. Now using two nuts ensures that each of these devices gets the maximum power to the battery. Use a wrench to tighten. Next grab the positive or red wires from the solar panel and the indicator and put them on the positive side. Use a wrench to tighten. Now we are ready to install the battery on our boat lift battery tray or near the boat lift. And all we have to do is simply connect our motor. And after we install our solar panel, simply connect the solar panel charging wire. Now, if your kit came supplied with one of Lake Light's 12 volt charge regulators, or if you wish to upgrade your system's charging performance by adding one, all you need to do is simply disconnect the solar panel wire from the battery and add the charge regulator wires in place. Find the red wire for the charge regulator, connect it to the positive, take the black wire, connect it to negative. Securely tighten the nuts for a good connection. Now simply connect the solar panel to the regulator. Lake Light's innovative regulator helps boost the charging performance of all of our solar panels. However, when using a marine deep cycle battery, it's typically not necessary with panels 15 watts or smaller. However, we do require it with panels 20 watts and larger. 